Good to see you, Makaias. I was starting to wonder if you're having second thoughts. Captain Elbert sends his regards, by the way. He attends uh, to the interrogation of Alien Royale and Uldah even as we speak. But I shall not distract you from the matter at hand. We can discuss the ivy upon your return. I trust that, by which I mean to say, <clears throat> the others are waiting for us at the Aetherite after you sigh on. <clears throat> Excuse me. There, it's ready. Captain Planet. <laughs> nice. I've actually never watched any of that, but I've only heard about it recently. Ah, it worked, uh, I think. Try tuning to the Aether right now. Feel free, feel for the current and try to locate the beacon. We have done all we can, Micaias. For now, let us withdraw. When our final preparations are complete, you must seek out the beacon you uh, we have created. If by the grace of the Twelve you arrive safely, you must stop Iceheart before she summons Shiva. I remember this fight a little bit. I remember I liked it a lot too. The music was... was... on point. Some of the best music I've heard. I remember. We cannot ignore the possibility that our actions have alerted Iceheart to our plans. If that be the case, she may attempt to hasten the completion of the summoning ritual, and if she succeeds, you will have little choice but to face Shiva in battle. Knowing little of this saint, I cannot say if your own strength will suffice, so I would encourage you to call upon your allies. Some may have reservations without wagering their lives on the success of Moinbrita's experiment, but others will surely agree to the desperate times called for desperate measures. Ah, before you assemble your party, pray seek with the knight. I believe he has a message for you from Sir Americk. <laughs> Sir, Sir Americk regrets that he cannot be here in person and asks that I read you this letter. <clears throat> Ishgard faces an unprecedented threat, yet in our hour of need, it is not her knights who stand poised to defend her. Makaya Saravane, the warrior of light, savior of Eorzea, your deeds this day shall not be forgotten. Where others would flee, you choose to remain. Where others would falter, you rise to the challenge. Where others would use their gifts for selfish ends, you wield yours in service to a greater cause. May Halone bless you with good fortune and see you safely home. Ach, Afha Amphitheater is now available. <laughs> Okay, so I can't do this, uh, well I can't do this, but I'm not going to do this without my friend, so I'm going to let him continue. I don't know where he is, what he's doing. Uh, what, what are you doing? What quest are you on? What are you up to? <clears throat> uh, the instruments of our deliverance. Speak with yeah, me snow too! Snowcloak. Yeah. Now, I went and looked for food. Um, I've got nothing that is necessarily quick. Um, but once we finish up, uh, cause I assume that this is the Shiva fight. This is, yeah, and we got a few quests after this that wraps up the, like, patch content. And then we move into the last part. Yeah. Of um, ARR after that. But I'm thinking after, maybe we'll take a break after we're done. Yeah, I was gonna say, um, after this boss fight, I'm gonna put something in the oven. Um, so, and then I'll kind of 
eat and cook as quickly as I can, because it would be, like, not too long, I don't think. And you know how fast I eat. Yeah. I'll, I'll probably... I'll probably... Like, it's... It's 12.18 now, so... Probably be good to, to end it uh, for, like, an hour. Take, like, an hour lunch. Alright. Alright, chat. We'll be taking like an hour lunch in after this last few quests here. We're gonna we're gonna kill Shiva, and then we're gonna do the few quests after Shiva, and then we'll be taking a uh, one hour lunch break. You can run Shiva with us, okay? Uh. Where are you? <laughs> How do I add you to the to the group? I can search for you. Right? Player search. What's your first name? I mean, what's your last name? Bella. Boop. Dal Harath? I think that's what it is, right? Yeah, that sounds right. Oh, you're a dragoon as well. Nice. Oh no, you're not. You're gonna tank. Nice! <laughs> we got a tank. Nice. Yeah, a viewer in chat will tank for us. Streamer privileges. Woohoo! I appreciate you coming along, Steve. Uh, I'm keeping one of each at current level. Nice. Wait, current level's like 90 though, isn't it? Oh, I see what you mean, like, current, uh, roll. Got it. Oh, your current level, okay. Or maybe not current current roll. There's a few and there's a few in tank here. Ah oh wait. Paladin, gladiator. Oh those are different. Okay. Right, right. Oh you ready? Yes. Okay, so <clears throat> Let's remove snow cloak, make sure that's off. And that on, join. Huzzah! There's one thing I know from this fight, and I'm curious if anyone is going to go for it. I love this fight. The music is great. Yeah, I, I love it. Oh, so right. Much. You've done this fight. I wonder if anyone's going to try to get stepped on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the mechanics, really, <laughs> but I, I remember doing the fight. I, uh, I remember during, really liking the fight. I remember really liking the music. Uh, during the phase transition, um, she can... Uh, she can hover right above, and it's about as tall as someone, so... It doesn't. It's not really a mechanic. It's more of a. You look bad people ass. try to get stepped on because they're thirsty. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. God damn it, dude.
That was also a grand entrance that you did, Steve. With the Christmas stuff. That was Christmas stuff, I think, right? Here we go. Kiba. What's up, girl? You should never have come here, warrior of light. I labor only to forge a lasting peace. A peace you would deny us out of ignorance and blind faith. No matter. If it is our fate to be at odds, then it is mine to strike you down. Oh, no. We whom gods and men have forsaken shall be the instruments of our own deliverance. Partake of my flesh. Fill this vessel with your light. Walk amongst your brothers and sisters once more. Oh, Saint Shiva, still the hatred within our hearts and bless us with eternal grace. Giggling at me, girl. All right. I stood and stupid there. I didn't see the circle in the middle. <laughs> So, so cool. That's like my favorite part. Also, somehow you did the thing that I was talking about. I, I mm. didn't, I didn't see the thing in the circle. Uh, the circle in the middle, I didn't see it. Oh no! I used the wrong ability! Oh. Mm. 
I'm having difficulty seeing the mechanics in this fight a bit. was close. Oof. People should understand the suffering war begets. That no sacrifice is too great if it brings an end to the violence. Mine is the righteous cause. You fight in a war you do not understand. A pawn of liars and schemers. And they are no less ignorant than you, following the creed of their fathers without question, never thinking to ask why. Trapped in a delusion of their own creation and blind to the truth. Warrior of light, redemption is not beyond us. We who walk before may lead those who walk after. Seek the Keeper of the Lake. See with eyes unclouded. Do... Do not squander Mother's gift. Oh snap, she said the thing. Uh-huh, of course. And so the vessel withdraws, a predictable outcome. Nevertheless, La Habrea will be pleased. How unfortunate. <clears throat> How unfortunate. By the 12 you're alive, I mean, of course you're alive, why wouldn't you be? I did what? And you're certain about that, are you? Dravanians are skilled with glamours, after all. Look, if you say that's what you saw, I believe you. It's just that I've never heard of a primal being summoned like that before. Are you sure you're not injured? Head trauma has been known to cause hallucinations, you see. No? Fair enough. I was only asking. 
If you ask me, there's not to be gained from mulling over implications of your story in its freezing cold. Let's save it for the Rising Stones, eh? I'll get everyone to meet us there. Uh, before that, if you had to pay a visit to Wiper in front and speak with Alphano, he's probably worried sick about you. That, or he's busy playing politics with the Ishgardians. Either way, I'm sure he'll be delighted to, s to see you hale and healthy. Speaking of which, uh, you don't have a headache or anything, do you? No? Blurred vision? Oh, no reason. See you again soon. Why is she asking me all these weird questions? I'm okay, damn it. I'm okay. I am a okay. Oh, I totally freaking skipped it. Well, There he is, and none the worse for wear. Was there any doubt, ever any doubt that the war of light would succeed? I think I speak for all of us when I say that I could, I should like nothing more than to hear the stirring tale of a victory, if you'd be so kind. Then we were too late to prevent the summoning, but not too late to prevent further loss of life, an outcome worthy of celebration, and one for which I have Machias to thank. Yes, you are right. Uh, of course, Sir, a uh, Sir Americk. Uh, we should be content with what we have accomplished. I, for one, w uh, could not have wished for a better outcome. Shiva is no longer a threat, and the heretics have been rooted. Um, aye, there is a matter of Iceheart's escape, but she cannot run forever. Whether it takes days, weeks, moons, or even years, my knights will find her. In the meantime, Lord Drillmont is the caravan ready. The supplies that your men uh, recovered have been prepared for transport in accordance with your wishes. Rest assured that my knights will see them safely to Revenant's toll. That I have no doubt. I take it these are the self-same supplies the heretic stole from the house for Tom Caravan. That's the crystals which comprised the bulk of the shipment. Yes, scarcely a fraction of what has been promised, but a meaningful contrib uh, contribution to your cause all the same. Oh, and on an unrelated note, Machias, might I trouble you to accompany me to Camp Dragonhead at your earliest convenience? It's not for my benefit. A certain lord was most distressed when he learned of your intent to risk life and limb to stop Iceheart. It took half a dozen nights to restrain him, I am told. Oh. Okay. Men give vent to their anxieties in myriad ways. Pray do not think less of him. I wonder who it was. Arshafont, maybe? Probably harsh of want, wasn't it? He loves me, Chad. He loves me. Harshafont loves me. Mm. Okay. She's gotta be. It's right where he sits all the time, too. Yep. What were you thinking, Machias, wagering your very being on a dubious theory which might allow you to enter Iceheart's lair, knowing full well that she could have sufficient forewarning to complete a ritual to summon Shiva anyway, and then and then engaging the abomination, uh, abomination in mortal combat by by the fury, Machias. This is the stuff of ballads, the battle of a of the ages or for the ages, but that I had been there to fight by your side. <laughs> <laughs> He's awesome. Yet here I was forced to wait, condemned to wonder of the fate of a dear friend for a veritable eternity. I would not wish this such torture on my most hated enemy. 
But you are here now, and that's what truly matters. Let us move on. Sir Amric wished to have words with you, and Master Alphano in private. He awaits us in the intercessory. He's awesome. Good evening, sir. I shall show you at once. On behalf of the Holy See of Ishgard, allow me to express my deepest thanks. Never before have we been required to contend with a primal. Indeed, there were fears in some quarters that our knights might not be equal to the task. From what we have now learned of these beings, I can say with certainty that we would have lost a great many men had the Scions not intervened. Then the argument for preemptive action should be self-evident. Perchance now you will reconsider my proposal that Ishgard move against Natalan. Natalan? Ere we first met, a similar proposal was tabled, but the Holy See decreed that we were to observe and that military action should be taken only in self-defense. All things considered, it was not an unreasonable decision. Since the Calamity, two vigils have fallen to the Horde, while Garuda has never shown any inclination to storm the Gates of Judgment. Which is why this unprecedented crisis and its resolution may prompt a change in policy. You who have faced these primals know well the threat they pose. Ishgard did not. Not until now. That's and right. And there is naught like a brush with death to change a man's outlook. Right. At the very least, this should silence any lingering objections to our arrangement with Revenant's toll. The Holy See may even feel moved to grant us its formal endorsement. So far as it is possible, the Scions shall be compensated for their service. We should be grateful for any aid you can provide. As a gesture of good faith, I shall withdraw my previous request. Your people are doubtless needed elsewhere. That will not be necessary. We too have a vested interest in watching Dravania's movements. I see. Once more, I must thank you. Sir Emmerich, if I may, do you truly believe that Midgard Zoma could return? The heavens are a window unto truth, but those who interpret their movements are not infallible. I requested your involvement as a precautionary measure. But of course! You sought an excuse to compensate us from the first, mindful of what would happen if Revenant's toll were taken by your enemies. Ishgard is not wont to aid its neighbors, but that does not preclude it from manipulating them to serve its own interests. Choose your next words carefully. Boy. Do you know what sort of man becomes Lord Commander of the Temple Knights? One who comes from good stock. I did not, yet here I am. Now, why do you suppose that is? I don't know, tell me. Because I swiftly learned to tell the difference between words, deeds, and beliefs. You are correct, Master Leveo. Ishgard desires to see Revenant's toll flourish, as it would present a troublesome obstacle to our enemies from the south. We are so glad to be of use to you. As we are to you. Ours is a mutually beneficial arrangement, lest we forget. One born of necessity. The dragons grow more restless by the day, and the heretics harry us nigh without cease. We have contended with such troubles for centuries, but there are limits to even our endurance. Yet as a pauper is loath to part with his meager possessions, the leaders of Ishgard are not wont to render up their trust to outsiders. 
But with perseverance on our part, they may yet be made to see the light. Nevertheless, one must take care when walking the road less traveled. Wise words, Sir Emmerich. I shall make a point to remember them. I must apologize for my earlier outburst. I hope it will not sour our good relations. Not at all. You but spoke from the heart. I trust you understand that at times my duties may prevent me from meeting with you. On such occasions, my second in command will speak for me. Okay, we'll be seeing a lot more of her then. Lucia, at your service. Pray excuse our at yours. We are but wary of speaking too freely, lest our sentiments be made known to our enemies. Know that the Lord Commander and I are of one mind. For the sake of Ishgard, and of Eorzea at large, I pray our peoples can put aside their differences. Story cannot... Oh, Those okay, who dwell mind. in the past <laughs> risk losing sight of their future. Should aught befall one of our shipments, pray inform Lucia immediately. You may also relay to her any words you might have for me alone. Not being of Ishgardian birth, she owes no allegiance to any noble house, making her as near to incorruptible as one can find in my homeland. Suffice it to say, I trust her completely, and so may you. Which reminds me, Lord Orchafon, if you would be so kind? Certainly. In times such as these, trust is ever in short supply. Mayhap this will go some way to rectify the problem. The results of our investigation into the heretic's recent attacks, as well as our interrogation of the merchant you detained. Sir Emmerich, I cannot thank you enough. Think nothing of it. Ishgard may be many things. But it is no friend to Garlemald. Did I not tell you to have faith, my friend? It would seem we have much to discuss with our friends at the Rising Stones. If you say, if what you say is true, Icehart's method of summoning Shiva defies all precedent. It necessitates a complete reappraisal re of the primal threat and of our approaching combat. Be -be 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 it. Moreover, there are grave ramifications if word of this incident reaches Imperial ears. The Garlean Empire believes the primals are an unsufferable menace. But their mere existence is a threat to this very star. As such, they deem any action against the bees' tribes to be justified by default. Imagine then if it became known <clears throat> that it was not only the, be the beast tribes of Aorzea that could summon primals, but her civilized people as, uh, uh, peoples as well. Any lingering objections of the Aorzean campaign would vanish overnight. Or before we had to contend with a single Imperial Legion, we could well find ourselves facing the combined might of all Garlemald. But I speak unadvisedly. Come, Makai says, better we continue this conversation with Mordona. New Gridania. I don't need to go there. I need to go there. I need to go there. Eyes unclouded. 